Carlos Alberto. That's dangerous. Giardino. Oh, yeah, that's Cooper standing. Today! What a save! God thanks! Have you ever wondered how Messi chipped that ball against Bayern Munich? That's astonishing! Oh. It's absolutely world class! Or why are football players worth hundreds of millions of dollars? When it comes to scoring, it's not all about the skill. It has to do with the player's mentality in tracking his shot. First of all, let us familiarize the definition of a parabola. A parabola is a symmetrical open plane curve with a plane parallel to its side where x has a power of 2 and the line of reflection, also known as the line of symmetry, splits the curve into two. On the football pitch, the ball must be shot on the target with the best force and most suitable angle. To perform a tall shot, as in a parabola with a high y value on the graph, the ball must be hit from the bottom, giving it a wide angle as the force depends on the position of the shot taker. After having a chip shot, the ball reached its target after 8.7 meters within 1.2 seconds and then plotted on a graph. The quadratic equation of this graph was y equals negative 0.165x squared plus 1.48x. The negative value of the coefficient of x represents that the parabola has a maximum point, and since the y-intercept is 0, there is no C value. As for the second time, we will do the same process but perform a short shot with a low K value on the graph. As the ball must be hit from the middle, giving it a wide angle as the force depends on the position of the shot taker. This time, the ball was shot from a smaller angle and reached its target after 14.3 meters within 1.64 seconds, and then plotted on a graph. The quadratic equation of this graph was y equals negative 0.06x squared plus 0.85x. As mentioned before, the negative value of the coefficient of x represents that the parabola has a maximum point, and since the y-intercept is 0, c also has a value of 0. When the ball is in mid-air, there are two forces acting upon the direction of it. These forces are, co are called vectors. The first vector takes out a horizontal direction for the ball, as the second controls the vertical direction of the ball. When the ball reaches the parabola's vertex, the vertical vector will equal to zero. After that, it will be in increasing again due to gravity forces grabbing the ball down. Therefore, to perform the best shot, it is recommended for the ball to reach the goal at its vertex, well, where it will have the highest speed since there is a slight amount of air resistance. This makes the ball harder for the goalkeeper to save. As a conclusion, we decided to conduct a comparison between the shots' forces. The force was calculated using the equation force equals mass times acceleration. After weighing the ball, it has a mass of 410 grams. The acceleration was calculated using its formula. A equals change in velocity over time. The change in velocity is also known as speed with a direction, which is calculated by distance over time. Last but not least, 
As shown in the shot's demonstration, Pythagorean theorem was calculated and then multiplied by 2 to give us the shot's estimated distance, then substituted in the formula to calculate the force. The force in the first shot was 3120 newtons. In contrast, it was only 2,240 newtons in the second shot. Although it w uh, in the second shot, less force was exerted, more distance was reached and achieved. In a, re in a real life application, when the parabola is steeper, it gives the opponent more time to reach the ball, meaning that the angle they shoot the ball at is crucial.